Good evening. I'm currently at the Lot Lotfi, the place that I've been trying to get to for the past like two nights. And I will say, this is uh, not the place I wanted to go to. The actual Talat Lotfi that I wanted to go to is actually closed apparently. And so the shot that I wanted to get, which I'll find a shot online and just throw it on the screen, is no longer available. And that being said, it was kind of cool that, you know, we were able to come here, but I think we should probably start at the beginning of the day where both Lynn and I started with really severe stomach problems. It was really bad. And we were <laughs> debating whether we wanted to get up early to go see something in town like Wat Arun or Yawarat or Icon Siam. But by the time we were actually up and able to get around, we were, it was like way too late. It was I think 10, 30, 11 o'clock and we had to meet up at 12 with our fam to go for lunch. And so we also had a ride from one of our cousins. She was ready to give us a ride to the place at about 11.45. And so we just ended up just chilling around the house watching YouTube, which kind of sucks. And then, making our way out to the restaurant. Now, the first restaurant that we originally went to was actually delicious, it was amazing. It's this fried chicken, like it's called Nitawa, I believe, and they do this really good barbecue fried chicken, which sounds like a crazy thing, but it's delicious. And we were just, we got there extremely early. Everybody else arrived at about 12.30, 12.45. So we ordered drinks first, and then we ended up going and ordering some like dishes that we could just split amongst the the folks that were there. So Lynn and I got there first, and then my cousin, uh, one of my cousins arrived, and then my aunt and her husband, or my uncle, and uh, one more of my cousins and her husband showed up. So we then were able to kind of really start getting into our lunch and started ordering and eating. Aside from that, we went to a coffee shop right afterwards. And the thing about the coffee shop was that we were then able to just chill and talk. Unfortunately, the coffee shop that we wanted to go to was closed, <laughs> as in like shuttered. And we ended up having to go to a Starbucks that was actually right next door to it. And the Starbucks was pretty awesome. And we just sat there. There was a Taiyaki place right next to the, the Starbucks that um, my cousin's husband wanted us to try and we did. It was actually really good as well. And after that, we went back home to where our other uncle on my mom's side came and picked us up to bring us here. We came here and went immediately to go get dinner, which, yeah, I don't need, I have photos. I didn't take any video. I didn't really have too much hope for it when I saw the place. And almost as I was expecting, it just wasn't that good. It like, it just didn't look good. Didn't taste good. <laughs> it wasn't horrible. It just wasn't good. Definitely wouldn't be a place that I would go back again. And I would also say that they forgot one of our dishes, which was the, actually, the funny thing was, was that the dish they forgot was the main part of their restaurant. So they forgot to serve us what made their restaurant them. And so, uh, which was tom yum soup. But we actually left like a ton of tom yum. And uh, it's cause we were all kind of full. Like as I walk around right now, I am getting kind of hungry, I guess. I could go eat again, but like, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. This place is pretty awesome. Like, I am super disappointed that this is not the place that I wanted to be. And I've expressed not only my disappointment, but my apologies to my younger sister, because I feel that this is a total waste of time for her. I could have brought her to somewhere that's actually like cool, like Icon Siam, but 
I chose to come here for to get a photo that doesn't exist. <laughs> and because I can't get that photo, it's like we're just walking around a market now. Saving grace. We weren't able to go to J&J, and this place is kind of a more Kraken J&J, in my opinion. And so, Lynn's actually pretty happy with being here, which I'm cool with. But like, it's just, you know, I could have shown her something that I knew was cool, and was brand new in Thailand, that Icon Siam is, is really Kraken, like, I would definitely have wanted to go back, and right now it's like, what, nine o'clock? 847 and because of that we don't have enough time to go to Icon Siam. I was thinking maybe if we finish here early we could just go over there but no luck. Icon Siam closes at 10 o'clock. This place closes at 1 a.m. so we have plenty of time here. I kind of thought maybe we should have done it the opposite way where we went to Icon Siam first, got dinner, and then came back here to just kind of shop around. But I don't know how much time my uncle and my cousin have. I know she has to go to still do work even though it's a Saturday. And tomorrow we do have an early start because we're going to Ampoa. But that being said, a few cool notes about this market, the La Opfai, is that the owner is huge into antique cars. And so there's actually a ton of antique cars all littered throughout this place. There's also a lot of train memorabilia that's been littered across this place, being that the, the area is actually called the train market. And earlier, Lynn and I saw a airplane, which I'm interested in going to take a photo of. I need to go figure out where it's at though. So anyhow, we're gonna try to make this trip worth it. And I'm gonna try to find anything that I can that I wanna buy. And so, oh, mom did cancel out on us and she went to another market altogether because she didn't want to come to this one. I totally understand why though. So we'll see what I can do. I'll check back in in a moment. Okay, quite clearly this is a different night. We are at home. I'm dressed in a different shirt because I totally forgot to finish off last night's vlog. And pretty much after eating dinner and getting a little bit of dessert at the Dalat Lop Phai, we ended up coming back home and started doing a little bit of packing, put things together, and then, yeah, we just called it a night and went to bed because we had to get up early today to go to Ampawa. So I think this is where I'll go ahead and end this video for the night and we'll see you in the next one.